back to Bangalore, you know, after a short trip to Dubai, a six days uh, trip. Uh, it was, uh, a, you know, a new experience. First time uh, we both were traveling uh, internationally, and uh, it was, you know, good to explore a uh, lot of stuff ourselves. Uh, so that's what I would uh, want to, you know, say you all as well. Now, if you are traveling to UAE, I don't know about other place. If you are traveling to UAE, try to explore it yourself. And also, you know, um, if you can, also buy a package so that you can get used to it. Uh, so that, you know, some uh, some things which are not within the Dubai city limits, um, it comes in the package, uh, like the Dubai safari and stuff. So it's better to go and go with the package as well. If you go with the package also, there will be a lot of uh, days where you'll not have any itinerary. So those days you can uh, you know, plan to explore it yourselves based on uh, a little Google search. And there are a lot of sites which provide tickets for a lot of uh, activities in Dubai. So you can do that. And uh, we reached today morning, uh, you know, flight landed at, uh, landed at around 8.50 and we reached home at around 10.30, uh, 11.00. And the whole day it was kind of, you know, we are taking rest, uh, we are completely exhausted uh, after, uh, you know, six days travel. So it was, uh, you know, though we, we traveled for six days, uh, it didn't feel like six days. I, we both felt, felt like, you know, we were traveling for um, uh, at least for two, three weeks or then because we did a lot of walking, so, you know, we explored a lot. and. Uh, the days looked longer and uh, the weeks looked longer so it was kind of you know uh, it looked like a month or uh, a tour though uh, though it was just uh, uh, one week uh, you know a little short trip so yesterday uh, the last day of dubai tour we didn't have much plans to do uh, we felt like we have explored uh, you know a lot of uh, dubai uh, you know in those six days so we didn't have anything special to do on the last day that was yesterday uh, sunday so we just were roaming around you know close up you know uh, the close by places near to our hotel after uh, uh, you know after vacating and uh, keeping our luggages in the lobby we just um, are roaming around uh, some close by places like the center point mall in Dera and uh, uh, then just traveling and you not know, taking time lapse videos and stuff. So and then uh, uh, in the evening uh, we had a limo ride, a little short limo ride, one hour, uh, one one hour limo ride. Uh, the driver took us to in and around Dubai, and also he stopped uh, stopped at uh, King's Palace. Uh, um, so so that we can take some photos and also you know we can walk. Uh, up to certain distance uh, in front of the king's palace so we did that uh, and uh, then we uh, directly booked a cab and came back to the airport we checked in early uh, at around 11 12 we have checked in to the airport uh, so there um, emirates uh, no, our, our flight was emirates and uh, no, it was something new and check-ins were like you know uh, not counters here in Dubai it was a uh, computerized we had to do ourselves there was an option to you know do it via the counter also but we chose to do it ourselves via computer so we had to um, scan our uh, passport and then it will display the seats the flight everything all those details it will scan and you know it will show uh, show the details and then we had to uh, check in our baggage ourselves uh, uh, it prints the boarding pass and gives us and uh, security was also very tight uh, in uh, Dubai airport so uh, after all that finally uh, we checked in security was done and uh, finally we're just waiting 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 till uh, 2 35 as the boarding you know boarding time was 2 35 so we were roaming here and there in the airport uh, we are checking the uh, Dubai duty free you know uh, shops so there. there were a lot of Dubai duty free you know uh, shops it was uh, segregated into different shops actually for watches gold and uh, 
other items so it was completely segregated segregated even electronics was a separate uh, shop there it was good to explore all those things so um, explored for some time and then then we were just waiting till uh, 2 35 so then we finally boarded our flight and uh, reached bangalore so yeah a uh, few points which i wanted to say is uh, first one is if you are uh, coming through package or yourselves always try to explore uh, you know yourselves so that uh, uh, you get used to you know, the dubai culture and stuff you get used to the metro you get used to the buses so in last 6 days we were able to you know cover most of those things so kind of confident like uh, we can travel ourselves to dubai next time and we had plans of buying a lot of stuff there um, considering uh, you know people saying you know about uh, cheaper things which we get in dubai but personally i didn't feel uh, the items there were cheaper not sure if it was uh, increased in dubai or uh, the prices you know were all already low in india not sure about that maybe the difference of 2000 or something might find but otherwise uh, i didn't find any major uh, difference in prices uh, so we dropped those plans of you know buying uh, i had a plan of buying iphone and uh, airpods so we had to drop that and uh, that also saved our money we didn't do that we didn't we just did the normal shopping you know chocolates um, you know dry fruits then on dress and uh, no clothing and then bags so all those things uh, and also it's always good to you know um, uh, have uh, international roaming enabled uh, both for calls as well as uh, for data it will be a very useful uh, especially uh, when when you're not at malls or you know uh, at your hotel um, in Dubai malls, most of the malls there there is free Wi-Fi though. Uh, but if you're outside the mall, then there is no free Wi-Fi. You'll have to somehow, uh, uh, you know, um, do it without the data if you don't have a data pack enabled. So it's always better to you know recharge. Uh, you know, it's always better to have international roaming enabled. And Airtel will get uh, 799 plan for 30 days for calls, and 755 plan uh, you know for data alone. That's only for five days. Uh, it provides 1 GB and also if you are uh, uh, no recharging or if you are, if you do a recharge for the international data plan always make sure that the data saver is enabled so that unnecessary you know data won't be going and going to the other apps like Google uh, Play Store or stuffs uh, for updating and all those things so that we don't we don't waste you know the data unnecessarily so yeah and you also don't have to worry about uh, you know uh, people there because most of the people are Indians and uh, most of them are Malayalis also. Uh, so I didn't feel like uh, you know uh, it was a different place or something. Whenever I was walking uh, in Dera or in any other place, you'll always find Malayalis or Indians there. Uh, so it is easier to you know uh, interact and understand uh, uh, varieties of things there. So you don't have to worry about that as well. Finally, I wanted to talk about the expense, uh, overall expense uh, that that was incurred from our side, uh, including the package, flight, visa, and uh, and uh, the shopping which we did, uh, shopping tickets, what we bought. So the you know, cost which was incurred from our side, apart from you know, visa, flight, and the package cost. So the price, uh, you know, the cost that was incurred from our side in Dubai alone, you know, from our pocket, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, not considering the package, flight, and visa, it was about forty thousand rupees. Uh, we were able to, you know, shop, um, and then we did uh, a lot of uh, activities like Dubai Frames, Dolphinarium, uh, then there was Aquarium, and all those things uh, which we have done so a lot of activities we have done there so it was interesting and all and the package you know came about the package cost was about uh, 70,000 uh, not considering the flight and visa uh, so 70,000 is for uh, the hotel um, then there was a limo ride which we got 
then there was a Burj Khalifa visit then there is there was a Dow cruise uh, ride you know it's kind of a little cruise uh, didn't uh, quite you know uh, like it though the food was uh, not great they were not even refilling the food and then there was a half day Dubai trip where you can you know cover a lot of uh, Dubai uh, in that half day mostly they will uh, take us to the Jumeirah street and you know show a lot of places there and then there was uh, safari also desert safari and uh, on the barbecue dinner with all the you know uh, shows you know uh, like the fire show there was uh, traditional dances and yeah and there was uh, dinner as well so that was also good so these were these were the things that was covered in the package um, so if you are going for the first time it's always better to go through package so that's why we went to the went through the package and uh, then uh, the visa and flight cost so we had booked the flight uh, two months back so it costed about uh, 50,000 uh, 50, 52,000 including the convenience fee and the travel insurance which we took and for visa, visa it costed about 13,800 uh, including the covid insurance uh, which is mandatory so altogether the cost was like 1 lakh 94, 95,000 uh, altogether I am saying so uh, before you know um, and going we had also so before going we had also you know on uh, uh, did a currency exchange at the uh, local uh, not at my local place uh, for about 22,000 rupees uh, so we got about 1000 dirhams so yeah including that all together it was like it was about 193,000 so the 40,000 which I told is only for the online transaction though uh, there was uh, you no know, thousand dirham, eight hundred dirhams, which was uh, you know uh, done through our pocket uh, through the you know cash, hard cash which we had. So altogether, it was like uh, forty thousand plus um, um, twenty eighteen thousand. So it was about fifty eight thousand altogether, which we uh, invested from our side uh, when we were at Dubai, apart from. Uh, the package flight and visa so altogether it is uh, 1,93,000 which it has you know, come up to and uh, a few important things which I want to say here is uh, try to have a forex card with you I had new card there was no additional charge there was no forex exchange charges it was like whatever uh, the rahams they had same exact you know converted currency Indian currency will be deducted from our account there was uh, a, a try to you know uh, take hard cash with you about 20,000 would be sufficient uh, as per me um, then uh, third thing is uh, try to have you know the international roaming for calls and uh, uh, data package next is if you are planning to buy ticket don't buy it from the ticket counter or uh, you know uh, like aquarium uh, it will cost about 299 dirhams in uh, uh, you know the dubai mall aquarium and underwater zoo which is not worth if you book it online it is much uh, cheaper cheaper uh, which we did uh, which we you know the tickets which we booked was from Trilak. you can also do it from there or there are many other sites also where you can book you can use your neo card you know to uh, book all these tickets so there won't be additional charges as well and uh, next thing is uh, try to you know make use of the metros uh, don't don't go for uh, taxis uh, try to use less buses uh, because buses are a little confusing uh, as for me I'm not sure uh, taxis are good if, if you don't want to you know use any other uh, transport medium uh, but I would I would uh, suggest you all to use the metros uh, so in that way you can cover a lot of Dubai's uh, via the metro itself and for metro you need a null card also so try to get a null card at uh, metros you'll get it for uh, you know we got it uh, got it at the metro station uh, though it was uh, we had asked him like what is the best option uh, so he told metro card would be good uh, so he did a seven day pass metro card for us and uh, 
we were just recharging that you can recharge it at uh, you can recharge that from uh, uh, metro station uh, or uh, there are many places where you can recharge that so we mostly recharge from metro station itself so no null card is useful if you're traveling uh, through tra tram or metro null card will be used so there are other places also where null card will be you know uh, used like uh, for entry into the creek park for the dolphinarium they charge about five dirhams from a null card so there it will be used these are the important things which i wanted to say so these are all the transactions which i've done when i was in dubai if you see everything you know it's the actual conversion of the rooms so no extra charges that has been added here And um, a new card is you know like a bank account where you have to deposit money, and uh, you know and then uh, you can use the new card as a debit card uh, at any international uh, you know wherever you are transacting internationally. So yeah, to get the card you need to deposit minimum five thousand initially. Only then they will you know uh, dispatch the new debit card. When you are, whenever you are traveling internationally, make sure you know to enable uh, contactless and international, uh, you know, uh, transaction is enabled. Please make sure uh, the international uh, transaction is enabled and uh, contactless is also enabled because in Dubai mostly they use the uh, contactless, you know, way of uh, transacting amount at the POS uh, point of sale. So yeah. And one more thing which I wanted to say here is, uh, if you're planning to go yourself, it will be much cheaper rather than going through package. Um, you can uh, cut short about twenty thousand probably yourselves. Um, you can book the hotel yourselves. There are a lot of options to uh, you know book online. But only thing which you need to remember is uh, make sure to book everything: the hotel room or uh, make sure to you know check for tickets uh, two months prior and see if you can book it uh, two months prior so that you know you can get a cheaper uh, uh, you know ticket price uh, rather than you booking one day prior or on the day of uh, the activity because on the day of activity the prices may be a little costlier so yeah that's all about our dubai trip and you know uh, all the information which i could give from my side uh, so Hope you all liked the video. Hope you all liked all uh, you know six days uh, 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 tour video and some additional with videos which I've put or which I'll be putting uh, you know sometime later in the same channel. Hope you like it and uh, if you like, please do hit the like button, uh, subscribe, comment, and uh, let's catch you again next video, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.